Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. Um, I have a, I have a storage chest of eggs. What would I need with so many eggs, you might ask? Oh, good question. Um, I will show you. Make sure there are no beasties out here. Okay. Look at those big old trees. Yes. Okay, so originally this was my store, this is my chicken pen. Um, that's where I keep chickens and I would periodically walk through here pick up the eggs that they lay um, if it looked like they needed it thin out the herd a little bit thin out the flock um, and then uh, turn around throw the eggs that I picked up back into the pen to create more baby chickens and see I, I have like 33 eggs here which is all fine and dandy uh, but I don't really use the eggs for, like, making cake. Um, so, I mostly use the eggs to make more chickens. Uh, so, I built a chicken cooking machine. Um, yeah, so after I would um, thin out the, the flock a little bit, I would throw the, the raw chickens into the furnace, cook them. And then, you know, I like carrying around a stack of chickens. Um, this helps make that go a little bit more automated. This is not my design. Uh, this is uh, Pure Salvation 17 came up with this. And I pretty much uh, copied it wholesale. Um, works really well. And uh, I will show you how it works. Um, it, it, it works really, really well. So, I built the whole thing out of glass. Just so I could see what was going on on the inside. I have a little dirt scaffolding over here which I will remove shortly um, so there's a little glass tube coming down here sitting on top of this hopper I've got a bunch of chickens in there just lobbed eggs in, in until they uh, they hatched and grew up they drop when they drop eggs when they lay eggs they go down this hopper and then down into this dispenser the dispenser itself of course won't do anything uh, it'll just fill up so it, it uses this redstone circuit in order to detect when there is an egg in the hopper and then send a pulse or egg in the dispenser and send a pulse to the dispenser this is a really beautiful redstone circuit i'm going to be using it a lot um, it uses two comparators and two and two repeaters uh, one of the repeaters has a bit of a delay on it which is necessary to make it all work um, but as you can see it takes so if I get like a 10 chickens laying eggs at the same time, um, it will, this, compar this comparator will um, light up and sort of indicate, yes, I have something in me. And it'll light up, the amount it lights up determined, is determined by how much stuff is inside the dispenser. And that's, hang on a second. Uh, and that's really handy for a lot of things but really what I want to do is I want to turn that into a series of pulses and just say hey fire 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 so is um, basically then lights up this comparator which is in subtraction mode and it compares the the full power strength of the repeater behind it to the redstone next to it uh, which is carrying the pulse and when it's when there's a difference when it's uh, when it's not pulsing it then turns on and pulses and when it is pulsing it then turns off um, and then this repeater has just enough delay on it to uh, both of them have just enough delay on it to sort of turn that into a pulse that powers up this block here which then fires the dispenser um, it fires into another glass tube which is offset by one to the front and it fires here and the eggs break on this uh, glass block and they drop down I've got a layer of lava um, which has a hole in it because of a sign that was placed in the middle which allows the baby chickens that hatch from the eggs to fall down through the lava unharmed I've got half slabs down below uh, which keeps the lava at bay and keeps the uh, gives the baby chickens just enough room to stand when they grow up and stop being baby chickens uh, like that they hit the lava and they die because they die in lava they let go of 
cooked chicken and uh, and feathers. Um, underneath all the half slabs are a bunch of hoppers that all feed into this chest. So um, as you can see it's fairly productive. It's been running. Obviously it only works when I'm nearby but it's good enough. Um, I actually am in need of chicken right now. So I can just wander by here and pick up a bunch of chicken and walk off and, and do what I need. Um, it produces feathers, which I don't really have any need for. The only real use for feathers in the game is to make arrows. Oh, there's a bunch. You'll see them popping in. There we go. 45. Um, I don't really need arrows because I have more arrows than I can deal with over at my um, uh, skeleton spawner trap. Uh, and actually, as you can see here, the feathers and the chicken, it, the feathers are slightly more, slightly ahead of where the ch chickens are. That's been the case. Um, what I find is that it produces slightly more fe feathers than it does chickens, which I don't really have any need for the feathers because um, I don't need to make arrows ever. So I don't know what I'll do with these. I'll probably... Um, just toss them out at some point and allow it to fill up with the chicken. Um, when it fills up with chicken, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, probably build more chests somewhere. Uh, this thing will probably produce more chickens than I will ever be able to eat. Um, as far as the eggs go, because the eggs can be helpful for doing some things, like making cake um, and producing additional chickens, I'm going to build a structure here. I will do a video on it. Um, and this is a this is my design. It's based on other people's designs. There's only so much you can do with the uh, chicken farms. Uh, but it is a automated chicken egg collector. Um, but it will have um, multiple uses and uh, it'll be able to do more than just uh, collect eggs. Um, it'll give you the option opportunity to uh, to kill all the chickens and so you collect the raw chicken and I may then upgrade at some point to uh, to figure out a way of cooking the chicken instead of just uh, killing them but that's where this is going to go it's going to be a fairly sizable build compared to the other things in here uh, so anyway I'll put a link to the video the the version 3 automated um, completely automated chicken farm cooker from uh, pure salvation 17 in the notes um, it's a really cool design and he has a good video on how to build it um, should be pretty straightforward you should be able to figure it out um, and it's not that resource intensive obviously I, I used a lot of I had to go on a sand run in order to make all this glass but um, I just wanted to be able to see what was going on, on the inside uh, it is completely, it is a sealed system. I don't have a way of turning it off. Um, I could, if I wanted to, build some scaffolding up here. There is actually a gap up here where I threw in the eggs. At some point I should seal that off. The chickens in here will never die. Um, they'll just continue to lay eggs. And if I decide I needed to make it more productive, I could always add more, throw in more eggs. If I wanted to thin it out a little bit, I could, I suppose, kill off some of the chickens. I don't have a good access way of doing that, but um, yeah. And this circuit, this uh, pulse generator, um, we will be using that in here. And um, I'm going to be doing tutorials on, on this particular circuit because it is a really clever uh, pulse generator which will be useful for lots and lots of other things so there you go um, that's the that's my cooked chicken source and um, that's that'll do it for today the sun's going down so I'm gonna go back and take care of a few things and that will do it for now thank you for watching if you liked it go ahead and click on the like button um, if you like the my videos and would like to see, sort of keep up when I post more you can subscribe to my channel and that will, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.